Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Galashin, and today we are going to draw a beautiful plant from the time it's a little seed to the time it grows up, 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 up. Well, plants have many parts, but they all start with one thing, a little tiny seed. And I'm going to draw my seed with a little happy face on it. There he is. Hi! And where would I put that seed? You're right. I would put him in the ground, in the dirt. So there he is, in the ground, getting ready to become a big, beautiful plant. So as the rain starts to come, you could add some raindrops in your picture around the outside. It goes into the ground and our little seed begins to sprout. And what does he sprout? Who wants to take a guess? That's right, he sprouts roots. So roots are like little squiggly lines coming out. And eventually one of those roots will be really strong and it will become the sprout. There we go. And see how our sprout has come up out of the ground. It's pretty exciting. So more rain comes. And maybe even a little bit of sunshine too. And with all that rain and all that sunshine, our plant is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger bigger until it forms its very first leaf. And do you notice something about the shape of the seed and the shape of the leaf? They're the same shape. And maybe another sprout comes off of that and another leaf grows. Well, the seed's very happy with all this. Woohoo! All right! The seed can feel the raindrops, it can feel the warmth coming from the sun, and with that, another sprout comes, but this one is very special indeed. Does anybody know why? That's right, it's going to bloom. You can grab a different color marker for this because this will be the flower. And there's that raindrop shape again. It shows up a lot. It started with the seed, and then we saw them as actual raindrops. And then we see that shape again in the leaves. And now you can use the shape of a raindrop to make beautiful petals on your flower. Ooh la la. Something to look at, smell. You can even fill in the gaps there too with little tiny flowers. And what I like to do in the middle of these is add little dots. If you have a yellow marker or a yellow pencil, you can do your dots in yellow and that will make it look like pollen. Bees love pollen. Great job, guys. And if your plant is really, really healthy, maybe it even has another little stem where you might see a smaller version of the flower just starting to grow. That's called a bud. And don't worry, you don't have to remember all of this. We'll go and we're gonna label it all. We have our seed. Awesome. And when our seed got really big, it grew roots. And then from the ground grew the stem. S T 
M. Great job. And from the stem grew leaves. It's one of my daughter's spelling words right now. Leaves. And from the leaves we have a bud, which is what a flower is before it opens up. And then when it opens up, we have the flower. Great job, you guys. It looks great. Now we have our whole picture. You've drawn a scientific picture. It looks really great, guys. Good work, and thanks for joining us.